Let's move in gay and get it on You got the healing that I want Just like they say in the song Till the dawn Let's move in gay and get it on We got this king says to ourselves Don't have to share with no one else That's right for the past week, I tried to significantly reduce my screen time, specifically with social media, and I couldn't do this alone, so I had to find someone to keep me accountable. This is my friend Caroline. She's amazing at French, a pro at the violin, and she's the best tennis player I know. And I thought she'd be the best person to keep me accountable. Before we begin, here's an overview of both of our screen times. As you can see, Caroline spends most of her screen time on social media, and I don't because the only social media app I have is TikTok, but most of mine is spent on shopping and food. To keep ourselves entertained, we came up with alternatives to social media, such as walking, baking, journaling. We also give ourselves five minute breaks throughout the day in which we do things like drinking water, stretching, in order to keep a clear goal, we had to make some sacrifices. My gut and my heart is telling me that I just like did this too fast and I didn't know what I was doing. Day one, not being on my phone made it really peaceful and I just felt less anxious and overall, I had more time to do things. In terms of technology, it was really hard not to be on my phone. I just kept checking it and I was really bored, but it opened some time to do other tasks and I took a really much needed nap. Overall, I'm really happy with how today went. This morning I had Chinese from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. and then I had my morning classes up until noon, worked on a bit of AP psychology notes, um, took a practice test for AP stats, and uh, worked on an infographic for student senate. I played violin for about an hour. Yeah, did a bit more studying for my AP statistics course. And before I go to bed, I'm gonna take a few notes for AP environmental science. And then I think I will go to bed. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Day two was really bad for both Caroline and I because of school. In addition to that, not being on our phones really started to get to us, and so we didn't record for that day. So, apologies to Helena for not filming yesterday's. I really didn't get started with my homework until closer to 7, 7.30. It was because I was getting on my phone for no particular reason. Like, it was just there. For whatever reason, I just have the fear of missing out, and I'm just like, what if something big happens? The day went actually pretty well. I got up around 6 o'clock, wasn't on my phone for the first 30 minutes, and I have found that to be actually really refreshing. I feel ready to go in the mornings when I do that. One good thing that I did, I don't quite understand why it's so effective, but I set up a time lapse right when I came upstairs after breakfast from about 7 o'clock to noon when I had my five morning classes. I had my camera going the entire time, so I just felt a lot more motivated to work on homework in between my classes. I went on a walk with two of my friends. Going on the walk, initially, I was really hesitant to do that just because I was like, oh my goodness, this is the time that I'm supposed to be taking notes for AP Psych. But I actually found it really refreshing just taking an hour off. In terms of technology, I feel like my usage was pretty good. I mean, I guess we'll see. When I was bored, I just spent most of my time watching vlogs on YouTube and I realized that I spent way too much time on YouTube just listening to music and I that increased my screen time overall. So I cut down my music intake to about half of it. Yeah. 
I didn't want you guys to go through this really bad audio for a whole video, so I made a really cringy edit with everything that we did on day 4 and 5. It was very cringy and I apologize in advance. I want to get out of here. I was so uncomfortable. Shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Kink out, kick the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. Sing song when I'm walking home, jump up to the top of the brown. Ding dong, call me on my phone, nice tea, and I'll get my ping pong. This is game, heavy, can't hit a baseball, I'm ready. Life is sweet as honey, yeah, this beach chain like money. that if i knew that this was going to be the outcome like i would have never done something like this but you you don't know when you're in the moment and like it was the most like it was like it was so like i just felt so stupid the fact that i would have been other people ladies and gentlemen i get the medicine so you should keep your eyes on the ball this is getting heavy can you hear the bass social media purposes i am spending some time with my lovely cat macy macy say hi to everyone that's suspicious yeah, that's, that's weird i think she's doing fantastic this is my final recording for this week it's saturday it's day after friday overall looking back over the course of the week i'm super duper happy with how it went and i mean of course there's room for improvement but for just going from unregulated screen time to being a bit more cautious with how i'm spending my time on my phone it was definitely helpful and it's given me a few new strategies to try out just to sort of limit my intake. I'd say that the most important piece of advice that I took from this week was just not being on your phone right when you get up and just waiting until you get through with, you know, getting up, sort of cleaning your room, getting dressed, eating breakfast, because previously that would that was how I would wake up. I would go check out all my stories on Instagram and Snapchat. Oftentimes I got really distracted with the Explore page. As we transition into trimester two, I'm hoping that I can keep caffeine intake to a low, to a minimum, just because that's just another thing along with screen time that isn't that healthy for me. Overall, I think this week went really good just as a first step to limiting my screen. Really happy about that. I think I'm gonna continue to do this. Helena and I might have mentioned to each other during our SEAL class on Friday just how a lot of the habits that we're doing this week are maybe some things that we should work into our habits. Definitely something that can be applied to everyday life and will definitely benefit us in the long run, especially in a chaotic year like 2020 and 2021. But yeah, overall, great week. Caroline signing off. Hello, it is Helena. I couldn't make a video because I'm really sick right now, but I think that my week went really good. My screen time didn't really go down because I was recording on my phone a lot for this video, and I also used YouTube to listen to music. But if you want to reduce your screen time, you should really not just look at the numbers, but you should mostly look at 
how much of unnecessary entertainment and social media takes up your screen time. So, how do you think we did? I know this video was a little bit different, but my friend and I really wanted to test ourselves doing this, and we had a lot of fun filming it. A huge thank you to Caroline Mascardo for helping me shoot this video. Thank you to anyone that watched this video, and I'm so sorry for all the cringy TikTok vines that you had to watch. All of our socials will be linked down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And now that I've gotten my social media back, I'm just going to sit here and wait for all my friends to start yelling at me for not texting them back. Ugh, oh, shit. Let's move and get, and get it.